before we get to launch. Uh, and then in the next few minutes, we'll get the final guidance system Number alignment. Four and new objectives there that'll eventually get us to that glorious, rapid, reusable future that we, we so badly want. <laughs> yeah, for flight one, we wanted to clear the pad. And we, and we are did. go for launch, so 20 seconds to go. Let's listen in. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster acquisition of single corpus christi We're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 yeah, maximum right. dynamic pressure and passing supersonic so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound Getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. The, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, the RVAX first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Booster's now making Acquisition its signal. way back, Deck. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Wow, these are just incredible views coming to us. Down, a soft splash down. So for landing burn, we're gonna expect to see the 13 center engines light rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. And acquisition of signal. Let's we'll see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective. Now, the next milestone coming up uh, is in less than a minute. Uh, at that point, ship will, or I'm sorry, it actually, it already has. Um, ship engine cut off. There we go. <laughs> just completely blown away right now. Uh, what a day. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. I mean, this to help control itself and, and, and survive the heat of reentry, which like we said before, we're expecting that reentry to occur around T plus 49 minutes. Uh, so we're uh, pr getting pretty close here. And what you're seeing here, it looks like the vehicle is sort of moving back and forth. Part of what you're also seeing is one of the cameras, this onboard view that we have, is on the end of a flap. Starship has front flaps and, and rear flaps in the vehicle. Um, so we've got four of those. And oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. Starship is so big that we're hoping that the plasma field doesn't entirely blanket the entire vehicle. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... Views brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still <laughs> communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. 
I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. <laughs> absolutely, Kate. And, and it's important to note with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities, even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory. So the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. Yeah. Again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever flown. And you can definitely tell by the, uh, the crowd here in Hawthorne. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat shield tiles are dissipating. At. We are hearing through some of the telemetry that we did. It did look like we lost Starlink and our Tedris data flow at the exact same time. Now, if both of those signals are cutting out at the exact same time, that could mean we lost the ship. It has been several minutes since we've gotten any data from Starship. Yeah, but we were just hearing on the loops. We are making the call now that we have lost ship 28. So. Uh, as we were possibly expecting, we lost the data a couple of minutes ago. We haven't heard from the ship uh, up until this point, and so the team has made the call that ship uh, has been lost. So no splashdown today, uh, but again, just it's incredible to see how much further we got this time around.